Hey everybody, this is the mostly completed hostile and passive mob harvester and sorter. It's uh, designed with the idea that you stand in this spot and you automatically get delivered the drops from damn near everything with the exception of slimes because there are none in this area. I'll have to get a mod that spawns them for me and go to the bottom layer and build something for that later. But uh, for now it's legit except for all the inventory hacks I used to build it. So let's uh, get into it. I'm going to show you how to uh, sort between them all 100% reliably except for the sheep and the cows and how to harvest them and there's trap doors and there's a record studio and a bunch of shit. So I'll show you how to do it. Most of it's by Ethos and some of it's by Kirshar and some other people. I'll mention guys as I go and I'll post their videos and uh, everyone will get their credit. So first things first, let's open up the trap door for... Uh, the hostile mobs right now they're getting automatically harvested and it was in that one right there I just loaded into the world so there might not be that very many of them right now but uh, they're coming and as they're coming down to the uh, this is the sorter here let's just switch over here we got a bunch of sheep and cows here and uh, they're all they're on a trap door if I open the trap door it goes to a drowning trap and what happens if uh, if a sheep isn't killed by you or a wolf, you don't get its wool. And if a cow isn't killed by you, it doesn't drop its uh, leather nearly as often. And leather works just as good as any other type of armor. It just doesn't last as long. So uh, if you got a lot of leather, you're pretty much covered for armor. It's nice. So while well, these guys are coming, I see we just got a zombie that got delivered here. Let's do this. We're going to get them delivered to us by minecart so we can kill them ourselves while standing here might need to move a little bit just to uh there we go so i'll show you how this works when we get to the uh passive mobs but for now basically what happens it gets delivered to you you kill it its drops get moved in the stream to you the trap door is what i call the uh, eats boat system that i use to uh act as a trap door it's pretty much the same thing. There's a sheep. There we go. We got ourselves some wool. And it's just going to keep on going as long as it's on. And it's not 100% automatic, but it is pretty cool. It works while I'm standing here. So let's turn it off. There might be one more that gets delivered. Usually there's one more that gets delivered. There we go. And that'll be it. So there's all their drops. I come down here. I pick it all up. There we go. So we got some skeletons up top. Do we have any creepers yet? No, we do not. Uh, the one thing I haven't worked on is the efficiency of my spawning pads, which is why there's not very many coming right now. But there should be a huge influx of them in a second. So here comes the creeper. He moves along. Watch what happens to the creeper as he goes up. He takes damage, but just enough damage that it's only one arrow that's going to kill him. I'll show you how to make that. We're going to have two creepers in a second. That's good enough. So let's close the trap door so they just start getting uh, automatically harvested here. And we'll let this zombie come just so that he doesn't end up with the skeletons. Not that it matters, but here comes the zombie. Okay, so we got two creepers up there in the record studio. Let's head up. Now you gotta kinda be careful here. Come on, hit him. There's one. I saw the record. Come on, skeletons. You can do it. You can do it. I have faith in you. Come on. Kill him. I know he's bouncing up and down, but you. Oh, yeah. Oh, come on. Come on, baby. Sometimes skeletons aren't very good at hitting creepers. Especially when it's this one that's bouncing up and down in the collection water. There you go. So usually it's better if you let like 10 creepers get up there. Then they end up killing themselves. So their records drop down and it, there they are. They go right here so that they come to me while I'm standing here even though I've, I've got to go up there to do it. So that's that. So let's, uh, let's turn it to peaceful and I'll show you how this works first. So... I think I mentioned that it's basically the way Ethos made it. The only real change is it has to be three tall. They need to be able to jump. If they can't jump, they, uh, their AI doesn't kick in properly, and they don't move out of the way like they should. The second thing is, 
skeletons need as long of an area as you can give them to strafe to the side because uh, sometimes they'll strafe right, right away sometimes they'll run at you for a bit before they strafe it's uh right here we got let's see here one two three four five six we got six blocks where they have a chance to strafe to the side and uh this all works uh extremely reliably the only thing that happens is sometimes the skeleton won't strafe at all it'll just stand there and shoot at you and if that happens you've pretty much got to uh you've got to either arrow it down or it'll just keep on getting pushed forward until it falls down in the pit and in the meantime everything will get kind of mixed up and uh it's not that big of a deal creepers don't explode on you the reason they don't explode on you is because first of all they fall down here and uh, while they're down here, they're, they're out of range of the damn arrows that are coming at you, which is important. And I can't remember the name of the guy that did this, but uh, I used his video to rebuild this thing, basically. And I'll, I'll post the link to it. And they come here, they come up another water elevator, and they've got just one block. And for some reason, this kind of acts as like an AI reset. It seems to be much more reliable. And as you see, this block here has no water on it what happens is as you saw the zombies jump towards you and the cre the creepers they strafe to the side and i think this has to be an empty block they have to come up like they do from the water elevator and this needs to be too wide and then creepers won't blow up on you sometimes the creeper will get hit by an arrow it's very rare but as long as the creeper is standing in water when he goes off it won't actually destroy anything and uh he's always moving towards you so he won't go off there so it's, I have had creepers go off, but it, it doesn't actually wreck anything. So that's kind of the way to do it nowadays. Up here is, uh, nowadays water flow doesn't trap mobs as well as it used to. So what you need to do is you need to have a, a little bit of an elevator. So they get caught up top like they are, and then they get pushed towards the area where they go up. If you don't have that top water there, then uh, they can struggle against the current and come back. Like creepers, they'll keep on wanting to come for you because they can still see you. Even if you put uh, opaque blocks there, they'll still come for you. And they might actually fight it and make it back here and then blow up in your face. So have the water up top. Keep on pushing it over. When it does get pushed over, what happens is there's a source block right here that pushes it towards the lava. The lava's on top of ladders. It's three blocks wide, and it damages the creeper just enough because it goes like this. And then it hits the water, which curves around this way, just enough that one arrow hits it. And as you see, you put uh, fences here because they can't jump over fences, but skeletons can shoot over them easily enough. Once again, it's three tall, so they can jump. Skeletons can't hit shit if they have a block directly over top of them. So do this. This is just where the skeletons come right here. And one thing to notice is when you build your record studio, every single block they could possibly be standing on needs to be covered in water because if a creeper goes off that way it won't hurt anything as you saw you had to be standing there for them to sort say you, you run away while this is happening they'll all start coming up here some of them might come this way but most of them will come this way and you have a bunch of creepers and skeletons all together well you can run up here and just blow the creepers if they decide to blow up it doesn't matter it won't hurt anything because there's water here they're standing in water it won't hurt shit so you don't have to worry about this getting broken it won't so there you go just just make it that way make sure it's small enough that they're always standing on water and that's that for your record studio really uh, let's see i'm standing four blocks away from where the creepers are seems to be enough for them to not blow up in your face but even if they do it doesn't matter so that's that uh okay we covered that so let's get over here to there aren't very many oh i turned it to peaceful didn't i yeah yeah i did i'm a dumbass Let's get over here to their uh, sorter. This is the sky mob chat by uh, Kirshar. Well, the mobs are spawning. We're going to talk about how this works in a second. Right here, as let's get under the clouds. Right here is the center of a 150 by 150 area. Now, a 144 is as far as a mob can spawn from you. So, by making this the center, uh, you've got a little bit of time to, you got a little space you can run around and still be basically in the center of everything. And I've got a wireframe of the 150-150 area, and everything is lit up. It's all lit up. There's all the caves down below are lit up, 
and the only dark spot is in the mine is in the sky trap which is way too big it's 75 by 75 does not need to be that big the passive traps the same way it, they don't need to be nearly that big uh, check out the ethos videos for the uh, spawning pads that are smaller as well as uh, Kirshar his new videos they're uh, they're much smaller too so you don't need to spend that much time you do need to get rid of all the grass in the 150 by 150 area and uh, you need to get rid of all the water that's the pain in the ass because this was all ocean but squids will spawn in the water and uh, then the passive mob cap is like 20 I think so if you got 10 squid you can have you know uh, all the grass gone except in your spawning pads but you're still not getting any spawns because the damn squid are there you have to go hunt them down and find where they are and it's a pain in the ass so you got to get rid of the water uh, if you get rid of water and there's dirt underneath the sun will grow grass in the dirt because it wasn't tilled if you don't want to have to till all the dirt after getting rid of all the water you've got to block it all off so that's that's a lot of work but I mean that's the only way to get it all to work and this yeah it's not efficient at all that's the only thing I haven't really worked on yet but as you see it, it works well enough and I, I've already hit the passive mob cap that's why that's why nothing's spawning because I've already got 20 mobs down there so you're watching them get sorted out just the way Ethos made it. They uh, they can see me now, so it kind of screws them up. But basically, uh, since uh, you know spiders are too wide, it goes this way, and the spiders automatically go this way when there's a shit in the way, or they decide to climb up. And since the tall mobs are too tall, then there's only one block that's actually they can actually fit. So they just get shoved that way. It's very easy, and then they go up the water elevator. It's, it's not a big deal. Anybody can figure that out nowadays, I think, with uh, all the progress that's been made. So let's go over to where they're doing. This is the, uh, this is, here we go. Uh, what was I going to say? It's the, uh, the trap door, a.k.a. Eats Boat System. So they land on the trap door when it's closed, because the boat's in the way. And they go to the lava, which harvests them. There's signs beneath it. They're not actually on blocks right now. And that's so all their, all their drops go straight down and get delivered to me. The, uh, the torch is on. That means it's, it's closed. I hit it again. The torch goes off. That means it's open. You have to do that because it's kind of hard to see the boat where you're standing. And now that it's open, they go down to the sorter. Close it again. You see the boat, the door is open, the boat goes around, and now it's on top, and now the skeleton's going to start getting automatically harvested. So that's that. The uh, the redstone for making the torch toggle with a button is actually pretty simple. It looks just like this. This is the input. This is the output. Uh, I'll post it. Uh, there's a picture that I used to make this, and uh, I'll post that in the description. And uh, the thing to note is this is at its max delay, and this one is facing this way. So uh, that took me a second when I was trying to build this. I didn't even notice that. So that's that if you want your torches to toggle like that, because it's very handy when you use the boats for the trap door. So uh, that's pretty much it for the hostile mobs. Yeah, see, watch this. Explode. See, doesn't matter. So let's, uh, oh yeah, the, the spiders, they just go to a drowning trap. They drown, their uh, string gets delivered to me. Uh, I don't really know what else to do with spiders, so that's just the way they die. Passive mobs, okay. This is where the passive mobs go. They come down this way. The first thing is the, the chicken sorter. The only thing I changed from uh, Ethos Design is there is a ladder here to stop pigs because if a bunch of mobs are falling down at the same time they'll push each other they'll like jostle each other on the way down and it's possible for a pig to get over this way not with a ladder in the way and uh, as for wolves the fact that there's no water here to push the wolf stops it from coming this way too and usually there's a chicken sitting here which will also push the wolf back this way so it doesn't end up in the chicken sorter and that's just the way you want it. Get that ladder there, have no bloody water going this way, and then you don't have to worry about wolves and pigs ending up with your chickens. Chickens, they there's signs down here so that their eggs just fall, and then you've probably seen eggs in the collection thing. And all right, let's uh, 
Let's go to the wolves then, because they're right there. They're kind of in the way, not very confused.